I think this is my best thrift store find and I cannot wait to share with you. What's up everyone? I hope you're having an awesome week so far. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jorge and like many of you, I have expensive taste, but the wallet can only go so far. That is why I love thrift shopping. There's so many hidden treasures out there that are just waiting to come home with us. And I have so many goodies that I've picked up and I can't wait to share with you. But per usual, I wanna share with you some footage of me at the thrift store, just to give you some ideas of things that I'm looking for to hopefully give you ideas of things that maybe you should look out for because there's a lot of crap out there. We wanna filter through all that stuff and pick up the best items. So I'm gonna take you thrift shopping with me. Then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna share with you what I got and I'm so excited. So let's go into it. awesome is this vintage rattan vessel not only is it a substantial size but it's in near perfect condition i love the weaving the details of this is phenomenal and i love the fact that it's not so orangey or golden i think it's a great tone definitely worth the 15 dollars I don't know about you, but I definitely daydream when I see these glass teacup sets like these. They're just so beautiful, perfect for drinking some tea, getting that Instagram photo, reading a book, watching a movie, whatever you like to do with tea. Definitely something to look for. Colored glassware is surely on my mind when I'm thrifting, especially amber glass. And here's a perfect example of something I would pick up. I think it's quite nifty. This will look great on a bookshelf, um, maybe in a kitchen. Just very beautiful in general. Wooden decor pieces are for sure on my mind. In particular, things that are like bowls, trays, or things like that. Here's an example of something I fell in love with, and that is this tray, or maybe a trough. I'm not 100% in love with the wood tone, but it could potentially be refinished. Who knows? Okay, how cool is this votive holder? Or at least I think it, that's what it is. It's solid stone and it's almost translucent. It looks so magical in the evening. I lean more on the minimalist side and something like this really attracts me, mostly because of its simplicity. The tone of this is nice and I think it's a salsa uh, bowl and can you just imagine serving some salsa on here to guests or maybe just to yourself because I can eat a whole thing of salsa. <laughs> Something I really appreciate about this specific thrift store is that they sometimes stage items or stage like a room. In this case this like vintage living room is quite cozy although it's not really my style or anything I would buy. I think it just kind of brings those nostalgic feels. This TV set is also really, really cool. I wonder if it actually works. If you're into vintage artwork, then thrift stores tend to have lots of it. And I'm obsessing over this one. I love the simplicity in the art piece and I love the gold gilt frame. Lately, I've been into vintage style candy dishes and this is a good one. Not only would this work for candy, but you can use this pretty much anywhere in your house. Put some cotton balls, put it in the bathroom. Maybe you don't even have to put anything inside of it and just put it on top of some coffee table books. For sure, very versatile. I also want to quickly mention that oftentimes when you find a lot of goodies, it's okay to love them and appreciate them and not bring them home with you. For me at least, I'm bringing things that will add some value to my design style and things that really speak to me. So it's okay to appreciate things and not bring them home with you. Also, check out this awesome dresser that I saw. It's actually very large and in great condition. I did not buy it, but if I were to buy this, I would for sure refinish this, maybe stain it black. But whoever buys this is very lucky. I'm sure they will love it. All right, friends. So I hope I gave you some ideas of things to maybe look out for. So let's head on home and let me share with you what I got. Okay, so it's time for the haul. Also, excuse the lighting if it gets weird. It's sunset. So let's just, I'm going to try to speed through this. Let me share the first thing that I got. And that is these candle holders right here. Check these out. These glass ones are just incredible. I fell in love with the silhouette. I feel like something like this is very 
like I guess not only timeless but it would work with so many different styles you can use these year round so if you see something like this this consider buying this because I think this could add a little bit of elegance to your space and I'm not the biggest fan of adding too much glass around the house but with moments like this I think it just reflects the light really well and it creates a kind of just a little moment of magic. So while we're in the subject of candlesticks, I found these right here. Let me get those candlesticks out of the way because I, I did pick up a, quite a few. These right here are these wooden ones that I think the silhouette again got me. They're just very like elegant and they have some sort of drama to them. I think I'm really looking for mixing like natural materials and bringing them inside the home. Obviously like wood and stone are the two main ones that I'm kind of looking for and those are like the two main things that are out there. And something like this I think is wonderful. Even if you don't like putting some candlesticks on here, even if you don't like them, I think they just add a level of elegance and sort of interest to a space. So consider buying these or something similar like this, obviously. One second. I also bought these right here. Check these out. These were a pair, which I always looking for, but with brass candlesticks, I don't care if it's just one or three. So I think these are really nice. And then this one right here. I really love these ones that have a little handle. I can just like, in my mind, I'm like, oh, there's a thunderstorm out. And then I'm just lighting a candle and I'm walking around the house. I don't know, I'm waiting for that day to happen or not. That sounds bad too, but. I don't know. I like this one. I also found this little baby right here. Look at that right there. So cute. So of course I'm really into brass, but occasionally I find a couple of silver items that I really enjoy. And this is another candelabra that I absolutely adore. Look at that right there. It has a really nice design to it. The detail on this. Um, overall, I, in my home, I really like mixing things that are very like traditional looking with modern items. And I think this is a beautiful thing to, to do that with. Next up, I found this right here. Can you guess what it is? No, it's not a ceramic bowl. It's a ceramic colander. Is that what they're called? Colander? Yeah, I think colander. You put your fruit in there to wash it. I have never really seen one out of ceramic. They're usually like plastic or metal. Look at this one. Look at how beautiful that is. The design of it is nice. And then it has sort of this like play with different browns on here. I think I think that's really unique. I haven't seen something like this. It has a little leather strap here. You can probably like hang this on a wall or like a, I don't know, like what are those called? Those like hooks in the kitchen. I think this was a score and this was like $10. Um, I think this was definitely, yeah, a score. Hi, future me here. As I was editing this video, I realized I totally forgot to share with you this vintage brass vase that I found. It's like a sphere. I really like it. It has sort of this texture to it with that hammered effect as you can see there. Also has that patina which I love. I think this is a piece that I think will work well in so many different spaces and I put some branches on there. Let me know what you think about it. So lately I've kind of been into vintage style candy dishes and I think this one right here does it for me. Look at that. This kind of reminds me of a Hershey's Kiss. I think I did some research and I think it was inspired by that or something like that. And so it's actual crystal. And the reason I know that is because just the way that the light bounces off of this, um, it has like a very distinct difference from glass. Glass, like when you see crystal and glass together, you will know which one's crystal. Also, this is a sticker that says crystal on there. Okay, before I get to the most exciting find ever, let me show you these, not very exciting, but these books right here. I always like to pick up books at thrift stores if they're affordable. These were like a buck each. And I always looking for just like decorative books that not are just decorative, but are also interesting to read or look at. This one is like a, like an interior design book. And then this one is a figure skating book. I don't really know much about figure skating, but but this book, I'm sure I'll learn something. And then this one is a canon book, actually. It has a whole bunch of just like information on the different lenses and photography techniques. And so 
as you might know, I'm really into photography. I wouldn't consider myself like a professional photographer. I'm kind of just, I just learn as I go. And so I'm very excited to keep learning more about lenses and things like that with this book. So those are always great finds at thrift stores. Okay, so the moment we've all been waiting for, oh my gosh, I have butterflies. I bought these travertine coffee table and side table set for $70. Yes, $70. Can you believe solid stone tables for $70? Not only are these kind of trending these days, but they're, I looked this up and this would cost me about $3,000 if I were to order it online. I cannot believe I saw these when I first, I'm not going to lie, when I first saw them, I just couldn't believe it. I was like, uh, maybe it's concrete or something. So I kind of walked away. But then I was like, wait a minute, they might be real. So I bought them, $70, I brought them in. Let me tell you, they are stinking heavy. So I had to have my dad help me with that. Um, but I brought them into the living room. And I don't know if it's really working with the living room right now. Um, but I'm going to just make it work somehow. So make sure that you subscribe. That living room makeover will come soon. I'm, there's, I'm just waiting on a couple of things. So just hopefully um, they'll have that out soon for you. But make sure that you're subscribed so that you won't miss that. But you all, this is just a testament of you never know what you're going to find at thrift stores. Now, mind you, I do go to thrift stores a lot. And I bet you like... 95% of the time I don't really find what I'm looking for or not that I'm really looking for but you know things that I'm like really into so it definitely takes some time now I'm not saying you might find travertine tables but you might find some treasures so don't be afraid to stop at your thrift stores it's a great way to upcycle items as well so I'm very excited for this I still cannot believe they're inside my house like am I dreaming <laughs> All right, y'all, that does it for today's video. I didn't even have coffee, but I just feel like so excited about this. So I hope that you give you some ideas of things that you should look out for. Go thrift shopping if you have access to them. If you really want to curate a beautiful home that's just like, again, I've, and I've said this before in my other thrifting videos, which I will link here at the end. Um, but basically curating a home, for me, it's all about like intention and sourcing items that that are not necessarily just new from the store from the like the latest collection it's really about mixing old items with newer items and just finding a beautiful balance so i will have some other styling videos and help clarify what i'm trying to say here in the future so make sure that you're subscribed for that but i won't ramble on anymore i i feel like i've talked too much today so again thank you all so much for watching be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe for more videos like this also, comment down below. Let me know which one was your favorite item. I think you know what my favorite item is today. So thank you again so much for watching. I will put some other thrifting videos that I have. So thanks again. I will catch you all next time. Bye.